Before I met you, I doubted I would ever find the one for me. I had built up walls around my heart and wouldn't let anyone in for fear of being hurt. Once I let you in, those walls came crashing down. You brought me out of the dark and made me want to do better in my life. You changed me forever and for the best. I still remember the first time I came to your house and got lost. You had to find me. You were on your Harley with a bandana on, sunglasses, and an unbuttoned flannel shirt with the sleeves cut off. I thought I was going to wreck my car. <laughs> I told my Grammy this later, and she said, Maggie, he's the one. I didn't know at the time she was right. Now here we are four and a half years later with two beautiful children and vowing to spend the rest of our lives together. I may not be able to promise to cook the best meals or be the best housekeeper, but what I can promise is to be there for you at the end of each and every day, offer you love and support. I promise to stand by your side and face everything this life throws at us. I will be your strength when you are feeling weak. I will be your light to lead you through the dark. And I will be your shoulder when you need someone to lean on. I love your determination. You work so hard for our family and never let anything knock you down. You always pick yourself back up and keep going. I love the way you wrap your arms around me from behind, rest your head on my shoulder, and just hold me there for a few minutes. Or when you kiss me on the forehead for no reason. There's so many things I love, but can't begin to list them all. You are the best man, father to our children, and I'm happy to stay the best man any woman could ask for. I promise to love you every day as long as I live. I loved you yesterday, I love you still. I always have, I always will. I love you with all my heart, Joe. Megan, for the last three days, I've been sitting in a pier boat writing my vows on a piece of paper. I got a 500 word essay about how much I love you, but I left it in the trunk. Sorry. So, the most I could say is, you know, at the end of the day, your touch makes me feel so great when you're a part of my life every day. Thank you. And, you know, there's not a whole lot I can do for you in life, but I promise you, I will stand in front of you when a bullet hits me. I will take a bullet for you. And I promise you another thing. When I die, I will be standing in heaven waiting for you.